Hey guys, it's Jeff and uh, today we have iOS 12.4 developer beta three. And along with that, we had the release of the iPod touch seventh generation this morning. And then also a major leak by Apple featuring iOS 13 and dark mode and a new find my app that uh, Apple will be releasing with iOS 13. So we have a lot going on this morning, but in this video, we're talking about iOS 12.4 developer beta three. We're getting installed onto our device right now and we'll check out what's new with this this version of iOS betas. Now, this version did come in around like 282 megabytes, so I'm expecting to see some pretty major stuff. Let's see if Apple will deliver. Okay, so we have iOS 12.4 developer beta three loaded up onto the device on the right here. And on the left, this is our new device that has beta two. So uh, we're actually going to be using that for uh, showing a comparison of what's new. Now, if we go to the about screen here, you can see that um, on the about screen with uh, the device that doesn't have Apple Care, you can see that um, we have a limited warranty. It has information about that limited warranty. And then it uh, you know shows you the available Availability to get Apple Care Plus coverage available. That has been there before, but I just want to show you guys because that there is a major difference here. Um, you know, if you have it versus it versus if you don't have it. Now let's check out build, no build numbers. We have our new one here, 16G50. 38D, the uh, number or the letter at the end hasn't changed from an I to a D. And then if we go down to um, our modem firmware here, you can see 1.06.01 was on our last beta. And then on this beta, we have 1.06.02. So we do have a modem firmware update and that should uh, kind of solve a lot of issues to do um, with LTE and all of that. Now we do have another change here that we actually found in the um, feedback app. So as you can see the feedback app here on beta two, the icon is different from them, what we see here in beta three. So um, the app icon here in beta three actually kind of tells me that uh, maybe we might be seeing a little bit more squarish icons in iOS 13. I'm not sure if Apple meant to put this change in there, but it's kind of weird that we go to this circular style icon all the way to a square one. So I'm not sure what that change means specifically, but uh, be prepared in iOS 13 to start seeing um, some icons that look just slightly different. Now, as far as any other changes or anything like that goes, uh, we actually didn't see any. Everything pretty much looks and feels the same. Performance um, feels almost identical to beta two. But what I did notice is any lag stutters or anything like that is almost gone. And I think performance here is a little bit more stable. Now, as far as performance goes, let's check out some Geekbench numbers. Um, we'll go with CPU first. And as you can see in beta two, we have uh, 4,756 for single core and multi-core is 11,372. And then for beta three here, we have a single core score that's just slightly higher and then multi-core is slightly lower. So everything's pretty much within the margin of error. And then for compute, we have 21,000. 887 for beta two, and then 21,759 for beta three. So again, not too much of a change there in performance. And in my experience um, of using this beta, uh, beta three, there's not too much of a performance change. So I don't think you'll notice anything, but it is feeling just slightly more stable when going throughout certain processes. And a lot of those UI bugs that you see when going throughout iOS, um, you know, when you do certain functions, those are getting um, a little bit better. I'm not noticing those as much. So uh, guys, yeah, go ahead, update to beta three if you want to check out some of the new features that we see here in uh, the, uh, the betas. One thing that I did notice is if we go to Inland Center Mall here, uh, that's a mall near me, you can see that we have the abil availability to see like all of these things that are within the mall that came in beta two. That was a quite a major update uh, where you can actually see stores within a mall. So that's really cool, but I noticed that it has gotten a little bit better here in beta three. So everything's just a little bit more streamlined and uh, you know, there's more locations within uh, the malls and yeah, it's just a little bit more accurate. So go check that out. It's actually a really useful feature if you don't know where you're going in a mall. Uh, you don't actually have to go um, within the mall to you know look at the directory or anything like that. Now, another new thing that I did notice is when you swipe down, you notice that um, browse Inland Center Mall did come up. That's because I'm hovered over Inland Center Mall and that is something new in beta three. So I can go ahead and browse um, a certain location if I'm hovering over it. So that's really cool. So guys, 
that was all I could find within beta three, uh, no new wallpapers or anything like that. Um, everything still remains the same. I think we're just gearing up for iOS 13 here. So not too many changes to be expected, but as far as this beta version, everything feels smooth, looks smooth. And um, yeah, I say go check it out before we, uh, before we move on to iOS 13 and the focus kind of goes there. Okay guys, that was iOS 12.4 developer beta three. If you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, if you are on the iOS 12.4 betas, please let me know how your experience is on the betas and it would be awesome to know what device you are running the betas on. That really helps kind of get an idea of what your experience is and what device you are using. So uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. Now, if you wanna stay up to date with all of our content and kind of uh, get all the latest and greatest news, make sure to get subscribed and also hit the bell button because that will give you those very important updates as to when our content comes out. Now, if you wanna get more involved with the channel and kind of discuss uh, any beta versions or any news or anything like that that we may discuss here on the channel, you can go over to our Discord server and discuss that with other members there. There's like 1,500 people on our Discord server, so that's super awesome, and I'm sure I'd love to see you over there. Now, you can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link or a QR code on screen, so just go ahead and scan that, and that will send you to my Twitter. Go ahead, follow me. I will be giving updates on the channel and as well what I'm, what I'm up to on a daily basis there. So go ahead, follow me on Twitter. I'd love to see you over there, and of course, you can PM me or, um, you know, just talk to me over there, tweet me, whatever. I'm trying to get a little bit more active there, so definitely hit me up on Twitter. I'd love to talk to you over there. So guys, thank you for watching this video on iOS 12.4 developer beta three. I appreciate all of your support and I hope to see you in some upcoming content. Peace.